Okay, let's save an image from the internet to our T drive. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to my internet uh, browser, and it's the Internet Explorer. If it's not here, go to Start, Programs, and then just go ahead and find Internet Explorer. So two ways to get to it, here and here. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Internet Explorer, and hopefully it goes to Google. Now if it doesn't, go ahead and type in Google. Make sure you spell it correctly. G-O-O-G-L-E. I'm going to hit Control Enter. That's going to do the www dot and the dot com for me. So again, Google, Control Enter, and that'll take you to here. Make sure you spell it correctly or you will have issues. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and type in my image, and I'm just going to go ahead and look up a dog for my project. Okay, so we have the dog, and now I'm going to go to um, images, and I'm going to just make sure my safe search is on, so filter explicit results, okay, and then I'm going to make sure also that in my search tools, I just click the search tools, and go to my size, and I'm just going to go either large or medium, I'm going to go large, okay, just so we have it um, as a bigger file, we could always make it smaller, but always go large, or how I say it, go large or go home. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down with my middle mouse but, uh, scroller, um, or you could just click and drag this bar, and that works too. And this one's adorable. Um, I could always crop out some extra stuff if I need to. Um, this one makes quite the splash. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and, yeah, you can never go wrong with adorable, cute puppies. Now I have the picture here. You're going to want to next go to full size image. See how it tells me that the size is a lot larger? Okay, if we just save this thumbnail, it's not going to be that large of a picture size. So I'm going to click full size image, and I have the image now that I want to save. You could always zoom in, zoom out with that magnifier, and I'm going to right click, save picture as. Okay, so right click on your mouse, save picture as, and then this little window opens up. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is click my documents. It's the same thing as your T drive. So my documents, and I'm just going to go ahead and we could give it a name or we could keep it the same name. So I'm just going to go ahead and click, give it a name, dogs1, that's fine, and I'm going to hit save. Now I'm going to go ahead and minimize this, and if I go to my computer, uh, my documents, or click my documents right away here, it doesn't matter, and I just go ahead and look for dog1, or dogs1 I should say because there's more than one and I labeled it that way. There's my picture and it's in my documents. And now we have our picture saved. So if you want to open it up, you can always go to your my documents and then you go to your dogs, right click, open with, you can open up in Photoshop, Illustrator and so forth. Also, if it doesn't show up there, you can choose program and it'll be here as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on the Photoshop and I would just click OK and it would open it. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial on saving your pictures as you will need to save pictures into your T drive for certain projects. All right, uh, take care and I hope you got the picture. All right, that was a bad joke.